How y'all doing? How tough is it, was it for your unit to be all over just the field, six sacks, forcing them into interceptions, and to running into a brick wall by right. the Eagles offensive line on Monday night and, and not really getting a sack until Jalen gifted you one by tripping? Right, indeed. Well. You know what? The thing you have to look at is a week-to-week -week league here. So, you know, you got to go in, correct it, and move on. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Is it one of those things where when you, you have that taste of success, rushing the passer, and you kind of get denied that all of a sudden you're hungry for that again, you know, and you're ready to atone for, for what happened on Monday night by, by well, getting back after it on Sunday? Well, for us, we just got to go back to work. You know, we came in, we looked at it, we evaluated, we saw our mistakes, and we got to correct and move on. That's exactly what we did. Oh, you know what? I tell you what, he is. We were talking about him the other day. We kind of see him taking the steps in the right direction. I really, really do. As a matter of fact, when me coaching him personally, when I would sit there and watch him doing some things I wouldn't have expected him to do at this stage, and he's he's taking the steps in the right direction. I'm not trying to make excuses for Logan Hall, but you know, he wasn't a starter last year, and now right. he is, right? right. So he's, he's playing more. Right. And this was a guy probably playing at 265 two years ago at Houston, and now he's closer to 300 pounds. About 95, 96, yes. Is, is it just him getting used to playing in this league, down in and down out, and then carrying more weight and adjusting to that too? Is this, is this like, a, like an adjustment year for him, an adjustment? No, we expect him. We have no problem putting Logan out there, and we expect him to make plays when they're there. And I can't sit there and say, well, he should have made this one. They didn't. Should have made that one. A couple of them, I, was, I would have thought he should have made. But otherwise, that he's doing everything we ask of him. With Elijah Cansey out, how important is it to get solid production from the rest of that interior defensive line? You know what you're going to get with Vita Bay, but guys like Mike Green and Logan, right. Greg Gaines as well. Right. Everybody needs to step up across the board. You know, it's not a real – I tell them we're one die all die business, so we need all hands on deck. Injuries occur in this league every week, so the next guy's just got to step up. What did you see from Will Golston last game? He got a little more uh, snap production than the previous weeks. I've been with Will a long time, and it's just the uh, father time hadn't caught him yet, and he just keep going on. I think he had more plays this game than he had the first two combined, and you know, just a joy to coach and does everything we asked of him. With the injuries to the secondary, how much of an onus have you put on the guys up front? To say, hey, we're, we can win or lose this game by by your ability to get to the quarterback, especially you know you might be playing a second year rookies in, the, in that backfield. Funny good thing about coaching the front a lot. Sometimes they don't even know who's in the game on the back end. Their job doesn't change, so they we have to go out and do our job regardless of who's covering and go forward. And we expect them to do the job back there, and we have a job to do up front. Alvin Kamara's back this week. He presents a real challenge. Oh, no question. As much as you want to get to the quarterback, they want to kind of suck you in and then dump it over your heads to uh, you know to help in the screen game. How much do you have to to tell your defensive front or whoever's coming to you know? not be baited into that and, and, uh, and let Alvin rip off a, a big game. Well, getting an all-pro player like him back definitely adds to what they do on offense, but it just creates more added pressure because they have two receivers that can go vertical. They have a excellent possession receiver. Then they go in Kamara, who's good from the dot position and excellent in the screen game. It just creates problem, a lot of problems all the way around. How about defending against Taysom Hill, too, because he'll line up I everywhere. Forgot about, I, I forgot about that other problem right there, too, and that's a major one because, you won, uh, if you following that team, you know, they have more personnel groupings than any. That's the thing about preparing for them. He could be at tailback. He could be at quarterback. They could have two quarterbacks on the field at the same time. They could have he could be at running back. He could be at tight end. So you have to account for him everywhere he can be. That's the difficulty in preparing for him and this team. One of the players that's really emerged for the Saints this year is Rashid Shaheed, not just, not just on, on special teams with a big punt return, but uh, the, the ability that he can stretch the field. He might be the fastest guy in the field. I ain't no question. And he's also, when we were looking at him in the run game, he's the jet sweep guy. He's the reverse guy. And then when he line up out there, he's going deep. It's, 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 he's a problem. That's what I'm saying. With what they'd accumulated together, they have a, have a very, very formidable opponent. About injuries, just um, your thoughts on how the secondary has kind of absorbed, you know, the loss of, of Carlton Davis for a few games, and, and possibly Janelle Dean. You've had some other guys had to step in and, and take on bigger roles. 
Well, we knew it going into the season that, one, we had a lot of young guys make the team, and we knew they were going to have to play at some point in time, and we expect them to go out and do what's asked of them. Casey, from a, a turnover standpoint, this probably what he have done best as a defense, and it's been such a big point right. in this series, right. uh, kind of winning that battle. How, how do you continue that? Not only Sunday, but moving forward. Well, that's the thing. One thing, if you say one of the things that we really stress is trying to create turnovers and going into the game. One that I think that really kind of gave us a chance here and there, you know, getting the turnovers, and we would consider it a fourth down stop a turnover. So from our standpoint, you know, we want to keep getting those, keep getting the ball back for our offense. That's that's what we. That's really our number one job. Anything else? All right, thanks. Thank you. See you guys later.